<laughs> Why am I not dying? What? What? Well, now that's just confusing. Thanks for messing around. It's more of Ampersand vs. Beswick. We're going to be having random stats, random levels, random arcana, random passives, random events, random everything. Out of bounds. That's terrible. I'm not going to get any benefit of that whatsoever. Yeah, so this is drawing a bit too close to the start time and a bit too painful with random events. Seriously, every time I drew someone who could go the distance, they had low speed and starboard spawn, so we're avoiding that by pre-selecting it instead of going full random. So now you get this silly, silly, silliness on screen, and this is actually going to be strong enough to take out the Atlanteans. Let's go do that. Got a ton of magnet. Actual speed. I can actually evolve one of my weapons. The other one is duplicator. And, well, fire wand is not the greatest. Hellfire is. And I don't have speed, so I get endless sides, too. Death spiral coming at you. I have positive might. Nice area. Unlimited cooldown. Two revivals. A lot of luck. Got some growth. And negative curse. I'd have to try to lose at this point. And try I will. Man, it's funny watching it just shoot out in the direction that I'm not facing. So I have to move backwards because I got negative speed. Yay! Well, negative over 100 speed. Regular negative speed just means you go slow. Okay. And sheer volley attacks will just mean you die. You shouldn't have too much health. It's both normal. You have negative curse. And... Oh, right. I should evolve you right away. Rather than constantly have you gallop about. Ooh, give him the NFT. Nice. Discard. Nope. Get game killer. Random is as random does. Well, the gigantic magnet means that it's going to be firing off endlessly, huh? And they're very slow, too. Well, you don't expect game killer ever. Random is as random does. Even if it's not random, it's missing no. You know, I basically go over this every single time I play the missing number. But, you know, this is always someone's first video. Oh yeah, Stanley and... But... So, what happened with actually creating missing no in the original Pokemon Blue and Red is that that little slice of coast uh, instead of our island is between two zones. So it doesn't know exactly what to pull the data from or its spawn pool, so it can pull it from odd circumstances. And now normally this wouldn't be a problem, but if you do the old man thing, it switches some of the data around so that your name is old man. It switches your name to where it pulls the spawn the original name you gave yourself. It switches that to where they actually pull the spawning information from for that slice of land. So while you're old man, 
is turn over. Your name is still man for the data purposes. For the a data purposes. But your actual name is being stored in the encounter table, so it draws from that, which leads to errors, because it's not supposed to be used for encountering. And normally, a game like that would crash as a safety precaution, but because of, well, everything, they didn't have that. So you could catch Missy No or 100 level 62 Mewtwo's, like I did. Now, it's probably not the most exacting specification. I probably have forgotten some details over the years, but... Hey. You gotta learn some about other games. Maybe. I don't know, there's probably someone who knows more about it than I do. Well, there definitely is. Probably fill in the blanks or correct what I mixed, but that's what I remember, even though it was like 10 years ago I read this. It's a funny little tidbit. And what do you want in life but tidbits of information? I'm up to 30,000, so I'm beating the hill counter. Let's see, I need to reach 50,000 by the time we get to 15 minutes. That's about 11,000 at 4, so could be doable. Should be doable. Game killer, game killer, so overpowered, it's hard to use. It, uh, seriously, is one of the strongest arcana, actually. It's just normally you just want your level to keep zooming up and up and up. And this doesn't let you. Because who wants to hit with gems when you can instead hit with fireballs? Hmm. No. I was thinking that maybe you could pull that off in a... You know... Posty situation. Keep their HP low. So that way you do more... Kill more. Faster. What? Oh my god, Stalker, are you kidding me? I can't outrun you. Is there a rosary around here? There's Arcana. Please let me get awake. This will go the uh, healing, not bad. Just cause it'll be endless. I have another revive, I do have another revive. I also have the rosary just in case, so let's go let's camp on that. Yep. Oh, I grabbed it. Dang it. I mean, it looks like he's gone, but he'll be back. Just to pain me. Give me so much pain and anger. Gems are doing so much. Game Killer is actually very powerful. Allows you to just walk through boss rush with no trouble. You'll get more power off of using it than, you know, just limit breaking in most circumstances, unless you're going solo weaponing. And it's, you know, just nice. It's a very underused arcana. In fact, it might be the least used arcana, because who doesn't want a level? But yeah, here's a nice. Very strong showing of why I can be so strong.
Now, of course, the real challenge comes from no moving game killer. How are you going to beat that ever? Oh, I ran over the trap. There's a trap here. I didn't know it existed. Did you know it existed? I can't really show it because I don't know if it actually does anything. I can't really see it at the moment. Yay, game killer. Anyway, I'm going to blow way past the 10k here. You know, I suppose in technical theory... Hmm. I don't know who would be the best for getting the highest amounts of kills and such. Mina and Toasty, I'd say, are the biggest contenders. Toasty can only do the most damage due to Divine Bloodline with Legionary. But Mina can get more curse than anyone. Curse, a growth, Divine Bloodline to keep it going. You would suffer with having rocket science or science rock. That is a test. I only want to actually do when I get back to her. Well, they. Or it. I mean, who? Bean. I'm just going with what my gut tells me. Eat, eat now, devour the world. Kill them all, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. The eyes. Haha, <laughs> look at all them fireballs going out. They're kind of like eyes that are on fire and are crackling with magma. All oh, right, candy boxes exist. I could try and get Thunderloop. Uh, I do have positive luck, right? Yeah, 88 luck. That's high. That's enough. I might get a candy box or two. No, oh, just money. So that's what always what it feels like. When I get unlimited luck, bam. Nothing but gold. When I have like five luck. Aha, here's a candy box. Two turbo immediately. Drowner. Ooh, a defang drowner. Man, I don't even have the move. My magnet's so big that they're just gonna keep throwing out the game killers. Regardless. Are you dead yet? No. That was weird. No, I'm kinda glad I walked into game killer. This has been a lot of kills considering. Yep, Game Killer really is a strong arcana. Try it out for yourself if you haven't already. Makes Boss Rash a breeze and even allows you to do silly things like this. Another chest that... Can I actually reach you? Yeah. No, it wasn't moving, so... And one more chest to go, which seems odd, because there feels like there should be a bunch of chests, considering I only grabbed two. Uh-oh. Big scary boss monster time. Hey, there's a chest near me. Where are you at? And I grabbed it with no candy box again. Seems like that's not a-happening. Here, I'm the rocket eyeball. Blasting off in outer space. Blowing them up? Good. Oh yeah. It's nice to have it go swimmingly. After all those disasters, constant wicked seasons, no health and starburst. Or just a cooldown amount, or no growth. I had like three runs with negative 90 growth. What are you supposed to do with that? And, I mean, normally I just like the game killer and be all okay, but... Nope, random arcana. Gotta be random. 
What even is my second arc? Oh, Disco, duh. Game Killer was my second. Disco was my third. Or Rondo, if you're feeling wrong about it, like I'm constantly being. Oh, 150,000. It's not a bad score. What with the uh, random underpowered nonsense going on? Alright, 28 minute wave. And wow, so sturdy and durable. The numbers are actually falling on me. But still, they are HP times level and I'm, they are dropping red gems, so they are not going to survive this. Uh, 50,000 for a hurry. With a very inefficient build. That's a pretty good time all around. And I still got a revive on the back end just in case. I should go over to that Oro Logan. Oh boy. Still getting way closer than I would like. There we go. That'll keep me safe till the end. Ah, the joys of random nothing. Yay, the sweet release of death. Alright, 54,000. Pretty good. Heck, Dosti of Legionary only broke a couple... It's what, 200,000? No, it's like 400,000. 50.1 million on the game killer. You can outdo Death Spiral, you know you're strong. The stream of ray, the recording of rage is here. Tiny bridge, random, random, random. Will I get something good? No. Nothing but sheer rage and anger right now. Oops. And we'll see you later. Shortgun is terrible. I have duplicator. I have duplicator. Boy, do I wish there was, like, double hyper. Wait, actually, I could evolve C laser, can't I? Because I have TRG Sue. Wow, luck. Some actual good possible luck. What nonsense is that? Oh, I think I can evolve shortgun, too. I can evolve both of these. Wow, that was absurd luck. Okay, that means some horrible is going to happen on the back end. Like once again losing those bloody cockatrices. Or the sword's not dying. Or me not getting an arcana from the arcana sword. Why did that happen? I don't know. That was infuriating. Not that I would have changed it at that point, but hey, I could have grabbed a wake. I could have grabbed something that was helpful, other than a Sarabande with no area whatsoever. Or anything. Anything. And now my plans for the day have been completely disrupted because just the sheer awful about a bad luck happening here. Could have been done quite literally hours ago, but nope. Failure after failure after failure. From the day I was born. No. Right, I should stop moving except for Starburst because I'm already maxed out. So now I have nothing but sour grapes. And if you want to live forever, apes, then I got some Starship Troopers extermination live streaming right now. Where I will hopefully not be sour even though I'm playing engineer. And boy, am I bad at playing engineer. Come on, give me my evolution chest already, I want to evolve. There's Arcana. Well, could be worse. Oh, 
Ow, I have no health. And I just barely have enough speed to avoid those. And I have no magnet whatsoever, do I? Yeah, 47, that's horrible. Means I actually won't be getting levels all that often. Yeah. So since missing no stats are random, I'm just gonna have to pre-select one that isn't terrible. Because, well, I'm not rec well, I am recording the failed runs in case they're successful runs, but there's only so much you can do when you have one hit point and no speed and will literally just instantly die to a starburst. There's no avoiding these. If you got too little speed. Cooldown is the most powerful stat, but even sometimes it can't win. I should at least look for some light sources. Get some chicken. There we go. Why did that clear? Oh, that was odd. No more chests. They may have a lot of curse, but I have a lot of might. Now, hopefully I get Pronto Beam, yeah. Good, that'll save this. Wow, that looks so weird with max cooldown. And nothing's gonna stop this Gemini laser effect. Boy, was that weapon not great. Mega Man! Not skipping. Yay, Sarah Bond Day of Healing. 0.6 damage, yay. Well, at least it'll have area and we'll hit things. That's sadly an upside these days. Okay, this should have no trouble getting to the end. I say as all the other ones that should have had no trouble getting to the end, had trouble getting to the end and died at the 19 minute mark. Boy, was losing power to that terrible and wrecked my plans. Run away! Run away! What? Why are you not in an evolution chest? Oh, it's because I don't have pickup because I didn't level. Ugh. Oh. Hey, it's a vacuum. Look at all them pronto lasers going off. That was tens of thousands of kills worth of XP at once. I didn't want to get on short gun. 38 on short gun, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? You need to show back up because there's a rosary there. Get dunked on. I have five revivals, jeez. I 
and in grief. That was like the last thing that could have just ended the run here, just torn through all my revives. Nope, I had rosary. Yay, rosary. I would totally love to actually get these done in a day in advance, but hey, why would anything be helpful? I well, might as well get this. Oh, there was an NFT there. It means I should have saved it for when the cockatrices and swords showed up. Why did it stop? My duration is bad, but it shouldn't be that bad. And you can see these dang pronto lasers. Exploding gems too, unbelievable. I need to move because I know I'm about to get a starburst to the face. Where are you at? I know you're going to come here and destroy me. There you are. But I was too quick for you this time. Ah, exploding gems and the cockatrices. This absolutely would have killed anyone else. In fact, the cockatrices alone killed everyone else. The gems would have just made it even worse. Sword time. Why are they living? They should not be. I have enough provides, that's no problem, but seriously, what? Sweet, sweet, sweet release of death. Yay, victory. Alrighty, alrighty, it is time to not go to Tiny Bridge because I just beat that hectic highway. Gotta go fast. Gotta go random. Right, great. Oh, this is gonna end poorly. Oh, spread gun. That's lucky. Oh, and I'm going to the right. Oh, it's not as fast, but still. Boy, did I get the worst character to get hollow heart on. And I got no Eurasian for Bible. That's great. At least my area is giant. I got no speed, so the axes are doing nothing. Well, I can at least evolve them to Death Spiral. That's nice. If you know it's possible. And if even the trash ones are coming in this close. On the other hand, the explosion from the barrels is so gigantic, they have to keep hitting each other. And 70 is a lot. And my Arcana is... My bloodline. Is the exact opposite of helpful. That figures. Where's the boss? Did not drop a chest, really? Oh, it increases the speed, too. Projectile speed, too. Huh. Oh, now it's not one-shotting. Can they not spawn in because of the Moises? Do I have to destroy them all before that happens?
This is gonna be an odd one. Gotta go fast, and yet I'm going so slow. Well, oh. oh man, they have plus three curse. I thought they were negative. Oh, I'm dead here. Unless that happens. Wow, I was lucky. God, I shouldn't even be attempting this. I should just back out and save myself the trouble. Oh, my damage is actually really high. I'm never getting that arcana. If it doesn't spawn it on the right, I'm not getting it. Got a bunch of barriers, though. That's nice. Not that they're going to be effective doing anything. Boy, I'm just not getting any XP, am I? Well, at least the high cooldown with the axes means that anything that does get close gets axed very well. The only thing kind of keeping me in with this... ...is boy is probably good not doing anything, really. Alright, because it increases speed, I mean the axes actually go out a tiny bit. Boy, do I just need to stay at the top, because I can't do anything else. Well, the barrels will just keep exploding on the left side just by accidental exposure. That's oddly safe. But still, these are not the dangerous waves. Oh, it flipped around, so... I know it's somewhere at the bottom. No evolution chest. You know, I'm not seeing you for a year. Aiming right for it, and I still barely reached it. Nope. Slash, that's actually helpful. Alright, I know you're sort of in the middle here. Until it flips, I'll just sit on the top. At least I got enough area that Bible's far out. Where yeah, the duration's so bad. And a grenade, yay. That's really incredibly high luck for some reason. Like, disturbingly high luck. Despite having only 19 luck. Oh, right, I got the clover. And it's maxed out, so I actually started with negative luck. Boy, this is terrifying. I actually think they're actually firing out lower now. That feels weird. I mean, they go through objects. Ooh. Off the death spiral. And with this level of speed, that's actually beneficial. There'll be nothing but death spirals across the whole thing. Well, it would if I had more cooldown, but otherwise, yeah, now I'm very safe. I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot here, if anything. Oh, I was so stupendously lucky. What even is my... Oh, right, spread gun. That's empty tome. I remember that. Well. Hopefully this keeps up enough. I do have enough raw might, and they don't have that much curse. And that is an Arcana chest. I'll just move down there. As fast as I can go. Yay. Crab battle, are you... Really? I don't think I've been hit. They're all dying instantly. 100 might is 100 might. Well, I got hit a couple times. Oh, there goes my barrier. I'll just fire south. That will save me. Oh, did the Robo Dragon already die? Actually, I should aim kind of more in the middle. He's still the arc. Oh. No! Are you kidding me? How did it go that cycle that fast? 
that I really hold the right that long. Dang crab battle. Yeah, honestly, it looks like I would have been fine not to move to the middle. Just wanted to maximize my firepower. Well, that's not fair in the least. Just wanted to maximize my firepower. Why are they coming in from the bottom? Please be 15 minutes. I know you're 20, but please be 15 minutes. I haven't seen any of the final waves. I haven't seen Taka. Oh, I do have another revive, at least. Please be 15 minutes. I know it's past 15 minutes, but you can change. So do the exploding barrels just stop spawning in after enough time? I don't see any. Kinda still hasn't flipped around. Spawning in from below again, so I can't stay there. Oh, dang, I thought you were exploding instantly. One more revive, that's helpful. Okay, they are dying fast enough that I'm willing to risk this. Get that sweet, sweet Arcana chest. Watch it be wicked season. Just what I need. Come on, I'm going as fast as I can. Please let me get awake. Or sign old sanctuary, that would be good too. Yep. Should have known. 50% chance to get anything good, and I got garbage. Bats? Yay, bats. I mean, could have been more helpful to be later, but yay, bats. Oh, no. You're all just gonna spawn on me. That's fun. That's fun. Not annoying at all. I am barely... I have barely moved away from the merchant through all of this. Okay, with that... Rapid fire, it should be enough to win. God, I hope it's enough to win. Oh, I got a bat wave at the end. Yes, it's enough to win. That'll last till the end. I will win. I will get the sweet release of death. <laughs> Why am I not dying? What? What? Well, now that's just confusing. It was absolutely excruciating, but Missy No has gotten some more victories on Abazwick. Man, I'm tired. That's 362 on Abyss Foscari, 363 on Tiny Bridge, and 364 on the Hectic Highway. The only one that didn't take double digit tries. Yay! It's a total of 1,568 more to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the misery. I would appreciate a like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. But either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.